okay now uh, to do the update part what I will do I will go to my ASPX page and uh, I will select my the grid view where my all the uh, all the records been displayed here into my grid view so what I will do I will select the grid view the arrow I will say edit column of grid view I'll go to my command field and uh, I will add one link let's add the both the links uh, because we need to do the update all uh, delete also so we will say we'll add the two links one by one uh, edit okay we added the edit link here so friends now you can see the edit link has been highlighted here in the grid view now let's add the delete link also so same way edit uh, edit columns go to the command field and select the delete button let's add the delete button here let's say okay okay now friends can you see the the our grid view is having the two links now that is one is edit and one is delete for each and every record which is there in the grid view so I will just show you the output now let me just compile and show you the output see we have the three records in our customer table so it means now we have the three edit links and three delete link each record have I mean each row that is Shiv customer Mulund address have the its own edit and delete link same likewise the customer ID 2 is having its own edit and delete link and the same way the customer ID 3 is having own edit and delete link so we have successfully added our edit and delete link here now I will just close this page now so let me go back to my ASPX page I will select my grid view again I will go to my properties of grid view I will go to the events page I will say row editing I will select the row editing I will enter the successfully I have created the grid view underscore row editing method now what we have to do okay so we need to create because we need to edit the each and individual row so for that uh, we have created the separate event of grid view row editing so let's create the row editing part that is int index is equal to e dot because we will use the event arcs of uh, grid view edit so that is new edit index oops it's got some error okay we have to convert to int now so convert dot to int 16 16 bit before moving further now what I want to do I want to go to my ASPX page because for the updation in my store procedure what I have written let me just show you I have written if the customer ID is equal to 0 then do the insert if it is not equal to 0 means it is greater than 0 then do the update means fire the update command so for that I will go to my ASPX page and I will add a, a hidden field where I will store my customer ID as a hidden field so for that I will go to my toolbox I will select the hidden field here it is just drag and drop here we go so let me save this and now let me come back to my code now row editing of grid view now I will start my coding that is hidden field in this value I will be maintaining the customer ID so for that let me go back to my ASPX page ag again and let me just see the design view of this so let me just count the columns of grid view 
that that is zero the index of zero is edit index of one is delete index of two is column zero index of um, three is column one and index of four is column two here it goes like this so column zero is our uh, the customer id that is two index of two grid view two so let's write that grid view one dot rows index dot cell to dot text the same way for customer name so for that now let's start assigning the value in this text boxes I mean this one the customer name and customer address that is txt custom name dot text is equal to 3 4 because th the cell 4 of grid view is having the customer address and cell 3 is having the customer name so I have assigned the value successfully now let's check this whether it is working correctly or not for so that let me just compile and debug this and uh, ok here we go now let me just click on the edit link and check whether it is working correctly or not yes yes friends it's working perfectly means as you can see uh, we have assigned that customer name customer address successfully to the text boxes of it stop this now let me uh, write the update code to write the update code I will go to my ASPX page quickly and I will go to the design view of this so here friends I have the two buttons that one button which adds the new record into the database and uh, another button I have that is which updates the records the existing records which is there in the database so I will just double click on this button so I will write the same code which I applied for the insert only one change I will just show you just copy this and uh, let me just put it to the update button code so friends uh, can you see in the customer id dot value we have zero here let me just show you my store procedure if the customer id is equal to do do the insert so we done successfully for that insert part now if the customer id is equal to not equal to zero then do the update so for that you remember that we have taken the hidden field that is this one where we actually store the customer id so let 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 me just use that hidden value so i will just remove this zero and i will use the hidden value when we do the row editing we we assign the hidden value with the customer id that, that is here can you see the same value now we are using for updation so now let, let me just put a breakpoint here before running just to check how the update query executes let me just say compile this here we go let me just click on the third record of customer ID that is this one third link uh, I will just remove the guru from quest form let's remove the guru here let's say let's click on the update now 
so connection open here we go let me just say step over connection open oops we got okay we got some error let me just fix this error I just forgot to close the connection here in the fetch records. Uh, let me just do the debugging again. Okay. Sometimes the error comes. So the more the errors we get, the more good practice we can get. So now let me just remove the guru. Quest found connection open now step over yes command command type store procedure yes now let me just see the customer id dot value is equal to 3 because we are editing the third record so as you can see the customer id was stored in the hidden field here in the row editing and the same value we assign it to the customer id dot value so let me just step over again okay yes we are done successfully let me just close this and let me just stop this let me go back to my database and check whether it has been reflected or not for that i will just open up my customer table here store data we edited the third record let's see whether it's been reflected or not yes the third record has been updated successfully with the name custom now the last part of this session that is delete uh, we want to do the delete part now 